Hayden's not here to do recap. Would someone else like to? So, last time on Princes of the Apocalypse. The group finished off their encounter at the ranch. Followed someone who we believed to be called Neri into the forest because Irodissa asked us she had a purpose there. Turned out this Neri was the Red King of, of the Elven. Was it the Star? For, Star? Star Keep? Star Keep. Of the Star Keep in the High Forest. And turns out. He's the father of both Iridessa and Doran. Ha Half siblings. Who could have guessed? Uh, we stayed for a few days after we were asked. We gained some skills. Then we set off back towards civilization out of the forest. And I believe that is where we pick up. Yeah, oh. we were making our way to. I remember correctly. Um, well, this is. Uh, you had an elven escort up to this point. Uh, also, Bach, they, everybody is mounted now on the riding horse. At the, uh, um, Amnon still has his, but the elves provided the other four of you with a horse. And they escorted you the edge of the high forest, which was about climb the star keep. And then we left it there because we weren't sure what the group was wanting to do. Go to Delmon Ranch on the way back or straight to Belliard. Um, the person that would want to go back isn't here. No, we we taught it. Um, I I did some other research on the horse travel, and it's um, about it'll be thirty two miles per day. So it's a little bit more than on foot. Not. But yeah, I don't think any of us are really have a desperate need to go back to the ranch. Yep, totally up to you guys. I can make our way back to Belly Yard. Okay. Uh, 142 miles. Okay, uh, let's get some, uh, perception, perception check. It's going to be about four, four and a half days travel. Some encounter and <laughs> the owl. I know. Okay. Uh, no, you don't see anything the first day. You guys move along. That's me. Much better, Fox. Uh -oh. Yeah, as far as rations, um, you guys don't necessarily have to uh, account for them because of uh, Ubi. 
I if mean, that's what you're asking. Not every day, because then you'd be literally eating a berry a day. I mean, I, I think we've right. only been eating a berry since you met you, man. Yeah, but it, it would be healthy for you, really. I mean, does it come in nutrition? <laughs> According to the spell, it's all you need for a day. Well, if that's the case, I'm sure. Uh, yep. So nutritious. Yeah. Uh, early on into the second day, um, the path starts to get a little uh, thinner. Um, so you guys are going to have to go uh, single file for a little bit. Um, so I would need a marching order for that. Uh, UV will go first. Back or middle back? Uh, I'll take the back order. I'd be like third. Probably like next to UV. Second or third. Okay. And as you guys are m moving, um, you feel your horses start to come down and collapse underneath you. Uh, I need everybody to make a dexterity save as your horse falls underneath you. Ooh, he's about to eat shit. Um, who are we missing? Irodessa. Oh no, Iro's there. Who are we missing? I think you were just roll. I think That's... you were Oh, there it is. Sorry. I'm losing my brain. Um, as your horse underneath you is literally falling asleep underneath you. And those of you who got uh, Ubi, Adagio, and Iro, you fall prone next to your horse. Anything else? Or just that? Uh, well, you don't take damage not far enough. But I mean, he put us in the battle map. <laughs> yeah, exactly. At least he's paying attention. Um, and you hear in front of you sound uh, dirt and wind. And like small tornadoes go. Get up. As you see, some creatures start coming out of the side. I don't know who that was. I believe we're going to be rolling an initiative then. Yes, as uh, these little, looks like little dust demons start heading at you. <laughs> there can never be just a safe travel. Oh, you guys have had some safe travels. But we did the whole we last... We got by a rhino, we got attacked by a tiger, we're getting attacked by dust demons. We technically got attacked by a hill giant, but someone talked it away. Yeah, and yeah. you could... I want to fight a hill giant. No, I'm kidding. I know. I was like, that would have been a fun. But no, no, he just he wasn't having it. We can just go to where we sent the hill giant. Uh, oh yeah, you doing? go there. We survived this. Oh, I hope you guys survive this. And then, I'm not. Oof. Why is it? Why are they gotta be so far? Oof, wow, they rolled good too. Is everybody in there? Yeah, I believe so. 
Uh, oh, let me reorder because Euro just got in there. There we go. Um, so up first is these guys popped up and start laughing. <laughs> You guys can understand some of it because a few of you do speak primordial, if I'm yep. correct. Um, it, it's a different dialect of primordial because you know there are four sub languages yeah. to primordial. Um, and they're laughing, ha, horse sleeping, horse sleeping. And they're going to fly up and try to bite your faces. So, uh, God damn it, leave the song alone. Uh, that's a 19 to hit, Ubi. Uh, did you roll with advantage? Yes. Uh, yes, 19 will hit. Uh, 6 slashing. Okay. Uh, next one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You were right in range. That was nice of you. It was. Uh, that's an 11 with advantage. Uh, that will miss, unfortunately. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And he is going to gather up his little storm of dust and launch a bunch of dust at you, Ubi. Make a dexterity saving throw. Now you are I mean seventeen looks good. Yeah. I was just making sure uh, prone doesn't give you disadvantage. Um so you you manage to uh, block the dust coming at you, and it doesn't seem to have an effect on you. And then you see out of the wall on the side, another little demon creature looks like it's made out of mud. Comes out of the side of the uh, little trail wall there. And it starts to fly. But this one is super slow. And this one is going to um, spit mud at you, Ubi. Since you're the <laughs> closest that? thing. It just, yeah. As it launches a projectile of mud out of its body. Uh, another deck save. Yep, and it, and again, you just you hold up your shield, just block the mud as it just slops down. Uh, Amnon's turn. Um, who wants to do Amnon for me? I guess you gotta control another NPC. <laughs> huh? Was that you, Adagio? That you no. said you wanted it. No, I'm saying I, I guess you got to control another character. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I mean, I can. Okay. There you go, Doran. Universal yeah. language, right? That's all he does, right? Yeah, universal language and calm emotions. <laughs> okay, um... Honestly, calm emotions could be really good now. <laughs> He is going to... Okay, one second. Amnon... Where is he? He's down at the bottom. He's way down here. Okay. Yep. He was bringing up the rear. <coughs> Alright, he's going to move up... Here... And he's going to... What can he do? He 
he can speak softly. Uh, this net whispers. Okay. At first level, on this. Wisdom saving throw. What's his DC? Uh, it is 14. That is a fail, so roll the 3 <laughs> 6. Nice. 10 damage. And then must immediately use its reaction to move away. That does invoke attack as opportunity, though, on this one. Because it has to use its reaction, it's not forced. Okay. Uh, nobody was next to it. Uh, anything else? Uh, that's it? Okay. Adagio? Great question. <laughs> You said that thing looks like it's made of mud? Yes. <laughs> okay. Quick but dumb question. Can I use mold earth to control it? <laughs> if not, uh, uh, I have enough of fireball. <laughs> portion of dirt or stone. Uh, it's probably unlikely, but it's worth asking. No, it, no, it's worth asking. That's interesting. Yeah, I, I was, it's, it's your discretion anyways. <laughs> Just change to normal terrain and then leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, nah. Either way, I'm gonna get up 15 feet and move over here. Uh, I think the only thing you could do with it is like move it or reshape it. <laughs> I mean, I can reshape. It. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I mean, cool, but I'm, I'm still gonna fire both the one to the left of the right of Uzi. Left is okay. close, Jesus. Uh, uh, 25. I got one. <laughs> my damage. Uh, but it definitely hits. And you do notice it does a little bit more damage than you thought it would. It did one damage. Uh, yeah, end of turn. A oh, rapier is a deck based weapon, isn't it? Either. It's finesse, oh, so okay. yeah. Yeah, finesse weapons you can use either or. Okay. I was just wondering. Okay, Dorn is going to move. So I'm standing. I'm, but I'm off my horse. Correct. Correct. Okay. I'm going to rage. And attack this one near me. So rage. Reckless. Oh no. Wait a second. Reckless. A fourteen hit. Um Yes, fourteen will hit. Nice damage. And that is my turn. Um, it is. Looks like it's almost completely lost its form of its little uh, dust devil, but it's still uh, hovering there. Okay. Gerodessa? <laughs> uh, I'm going to. I'm going to point to the one that's between them, and I'm going to cast Frostbite. For <laughs> one pulp damage, probably. Uh, con save, 17. So no pulp damage. Uh, bonus action, Blade Song. Okay. Uh, 
Five, ten, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, that was going to look and uh, gather up and launch another thing of uh, dirt at you, Ubi. You need to make a deck save. They really don't like this. Yeah, you're good. He's just been the closest. I'm just rolling around on the floor, dodging dirt and mud. Yep. <laughs> and you see on the east bank, another mud demon pops out. And this one's going to launch a blob of mud at you, Doran. So I need you to make a deck save. Deck? Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. They're not high DCs. Yeah, you're okay. Block it with your shield. Booby, you are up. I would let you stand up. I will take a strike with Primal Savagery at the one next to me. I'm guessing a 10 doesn't hit. No, a 10 misses. Well, if that's the case, I will summon the spiritual weapon to hit this. Pile of mud. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Oof, 18 will hit. Uh, maximum damage. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Asshole. Uh, I'll move up one and end my turn. Okay. And two more of these little buggers start popping out of the walls. Hiding amongst the mud. 5, 10, 15, 20. That one's going to attack you, Ubi. It's going to try to punch you with a massive six. Uh, this one's going for you, Doran. Uh, an 11 is going to miss. These guys Remember can't roll I for did uh, oh, Yeah, 11 is the advantage. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was an 11 or a 9. <laughs> Um, this one's going to try to attack you, Doran, with a 23. That will hit. Uh, four slashing have to two. <coughs> this one's going to go for Ubi. And try to break you across your side as you walked up to it. With a 16 to hit. That misses. Oof. What's your AC now? Like 17, 18? It's been 18 for a while. <laughs> Jeez. Dorn's just jumped up to 18 because he's using a shield. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Set to get. 6. Alright. Um, that one's just going to dash up. Wow, they're all their turns are in a row. That's nice. This would be the perfect 10, 15, time to 12. have spirit guardians. Right? Uh, this one's going to try to scratch you across the face, V, with a 13. Oh, nice. Amnon. Okay. Um. So, like, six of them went and just missed. Uh, he's going... Amnon is going to... You bardic inspiration for Ubi. Huzzah. That's a D6, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. And he is going to Vicious Mockery. Uh, which one? Uh, this one. Okay. So wisdom 
Um, and what do you say to viciously mock this little dust demon? I don't know. Yeah, nothing but a fart. <laughs> you look at him and go, I don't know. And he's like, you don't oh, know. the pain. As he takes one hit point. <laughs> yeah, one hit point. And um, that is it for Edmon. Adagio. Uh, fireball again, one above it, Eero. Directly okay. above Actually, I take that back. I chaos bolt that. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it doesn't bounce. Uh, 19 will hit. What kind of damage are you doing? I don't know. Let me check. Uh, It's a 5 and a (laughs) 6. Uh, lightning, I guess. Okay. And you hit that one with your chaos bolt and it explodes in a huge pile of dust. I need... Who's next to it? Uh, three of us. Yep, Don't all tell three. me it explodes. <laughs> yep, all three of you make uh, deck saves. <laughs> oh, God. God damn it, Dick. Five. And Iridessa. I'm just checking something real quick. <laughs> okay. I think you get advantage from Dex in the Blade Song. I, I thought so, but I'm not sure. It, it's acrobatics. Oh, it's acrobatics, okay. Yeah, this is yeah. just a. Oh. Advantage yeah. on. Yeah, acrobatics. Acrobatics. Yeah, acrobatics. Okay. Um, all three of you, as the dust demon explodes are blinded by the dust in your eyes. You don't know it's me, you're blind. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't know what happened. That was a chaos bolt. Um, all three of you are blinded by the dust for uh, a minute, but you can make a save again on your turn. Anything else, Adagio? Well, I mean, I can cut another one and blind him even more, but no, every time. Okay. Uh, Doran. Uh, okay, um. You... So what does blinding do? Uh, you can attack, but you have disadvantage. So if I reckless, it would be a normal attack? Correct. Uh, and any and ability that requires sight you will automatically fail. Alright, I'm going to try and uh, attack this one recklessly. Okay. So, let's see, that would be normal. Oh. No. Um, you can make a deck save, though. See if you can get the uh, dirt out of your eyes. Okay, uh, you can, you take a, a mighty s- swing in the air and miss, but you manage to get the uh, dirt out of your eyes, so you are not blinded. Okay. Hey, yeah. uh, uh, um, movement or bonus? You know, no, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Iridessa. Thunder wave. I can't see, but fifteen feet. Um. Well, it's so one, two, three, four. Two muds, two dusts, and then Doran. If you knock me off the ship into water, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> that was that was me. So you're gonna miss Uvi and do it one square to the right. Yep. It'll be right here where I'm starting and then up. Is there. It's not. You don't have to see, right? It's, uh. Self. 
So, 15 foot cube, uh, VS. Okay, um, yeah, Doran, you need to make a con save. God damn it, make Doran do all the fucking saves. You're good. So, 10. Oh, you upcast it too, nice. Yep. That one saved. That one. It was 10 to you, Doran. Yay. Okay. That one saved. This one failed. And uh, this one above Doran um, explodes with the uh, thunder wave. And Doran, it, you need to make another deck save. Dang it. I feel like the force from the thunder wave should push the explosion to the other side. Oh, it just knocks dirt and mud everywhere. Um, and you are blinded once again. God damn it! As the dust from the little demon goes flying into your face with the thunder wave. Um, Hero, you can do another deck save to see if you can no longer be blinded. <coughs> yeah. You can see now. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Dorn. <laughs> Intern. <laughs> sorry, bro. So it's going to attack with advantage on you. What? Because I'm blind? A... Yep. With a 12. That's it. Hey, I can't hear him. I can't, I can't see him, but I can hear him. <laughs> um, this one's going to attack Thorn with advantage, a 19. That'll hit. He does, punches you in the face for three bludgeoning, so you take one. Okay. Ow. <laughs> yeah, ooh. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Ubi, you are blinded. <laughs> Your turn. I will be using my inspiration to attack at disadvantage. Uh, what are you attacking? The dust devil to the right of me. Okay. So I'll add a d6. Okay. So it does a 14 hit. 14 does hit as you reach out and slash the dust. Uh, bonus action, I will spring this trident down and attack. Be this one. Okay. Um, you stab that one with your spiritual weapon and it explodes in a huge pile of mud. Make a deck save, Ubi. You are blind and restrained. Awesome. Um, you can attempt to save from the blind now that your turn's over, though. Okay, you are no longer blinded, but you are restrained until the end of your next turn. Huzzah! They are just getting you mud and dirt everywhere. <laughs> This one just got him thunder blasted. Is going to run up and attack Doran with a twenty-one to hit. That'll hit. Yep, and he punches you right in the face for four bludgeoning. Have to two. Okay. Uh, this one is going to attack you, Ubi, with advantage and try to punch you. Uh, 18 to hit. Yep. 
That's four bludgeoning to the face. Um, doesn't restrained either give him advantage or a like, crit if they hit? Uh, restrain attack rolls have advantage. Okay, so it's just four points then. Yeah. Just trying to be fair about it. No, I get what you mean. I think it's... Uh... Oh, it's paralyzed, but which is an auto crit. Yeah, paralyzed. Yeah, I was going to say there is one, but... Oh, that guy is dust. Ha ha ha. Um, this one's going to attack you as well, Uvi. Uh, 23 to hit. 5 slashing. Oh, that one is dust. That one is a pile of mud. M9. M9. Uh, do vicious mockery again. On this one. Uh, what do you say to viciously mock it? God damn it. Fucking dust will go explode somewhere else. <laughs> As it failed in saving throw, so. It has been viciously mocked. Anything else for Amnon? Mm, that's gonna be a turn. Adagios. Okay. Uh, do I want to blind my teammates even more? Hmm. Go for it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I heard someone say go for it. Uh, Fireball the one <laughs> to the right of Ruby. Okay. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, yeah, that that one definitely explodes. Um, Doran, you're already blinded. Uvi, you need to make a deck save with disadvantage because you are restrained. That's right, I will once more. Wow. Okay, you are not blinded, but you are still restrained. And that'll be end of my turn. <laughs> Doran, you are blind. Uh, I'm gonna attack uh, recklessly against this. Okay, against the mud one. Yeah. Oh, Jesus! Nice. That should hit. Oh shit. When he means he should hit, it means it doesn't hit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as you blindly swing at this thing, the little mud demon hadn't been touched yet, and it explodes when you hit it. Make a deck save. <laughs> you managed to uh, not get any of the mud on you as you blasted into big goopy piles of mud. Uh, um, mud. Um, you can do another deck save to get out of the blind. You are still blind. Iridesa. Attacking that one. Yep. Uh, 15 will hit. Just the nine. Yes. You swipe through the mud and rip a piece out of it. Anything yeah. else? Okay. This one's seen a bunch of its buddies not doing so good. It's going to use its summoning ability. And summon another one. As you see another little dust whirlwind pick up. 
Oh, joy. Oh, shit, they're multiplying. <laughs> yeah, but it literally rolled one higher initiative, so it ain't going to go the next turn. Um, but that was its action to do that. That guy's dead. Ubi, you are up. Can I cast if I'm still restrained? Uh, zero speed. You have disadvantage. Disadvantage. Yeah, nothing saying you can't cast. In that case, action. Bless. That's uh, smart, considering the number of saving throws you're doing. Yep, should have done it sooner, but I didn't realize until we was deep in the ship. So the three of us who are constantly making saves have bless. Gotcha. Makes sense to me. Uh, bonus action? Uh, bonus action. Try and into the one next to it. Okay. Hits because of bless. <laughs> Huzzah! And that's yep. it. And this guy is going to take a page from the other. Oh, I need to make a roll, don't I? Uh, 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 oh, no, not for the restrain. You're automatically out of it. Oh, okay. It only lasts one turn. So, it, blind you have to, but restrain you do not. And that was his action to summon another pile of mud. This one is going to try to attack Eero for a 12. Don't think that's going to hit. Boop. That one is dead. Now it is fresh one. Is going to attack the blinded Doran with a dirty 20. Yeah, these things don't do much damage though. It's two bludgeoning half to one. So it just slaps you slaps you across the face. Emnon, you're up. Thirty four more hits and Dorn might be going down. Uh Emnon is going to Yeah, they're not tough, they're just annoying. Yeah, I can tell. Um, what does Emma want to do? Uh, screw it. Shatter. Where? Uh, let's see, shatters. Get, just to get these two. Okay. The shatter, shatter's 10, isn't it? Or is it yeah, it's 10. Yeah. Just to get these two. Okay. <laughs> On save. They both fail. 13 and a 6. I was a little bit worried though when you said shatter. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was like, oh shit, where's he? Where's this guy doing that? Um, I don't know you... why Kaden just gets a 7 PTSD. I know. You actually like, oh, what the? <laughs> Um, the one next to Doran explodes with the clap of thunder. Uh, Doran, make a dexterity saving throw. With a d4. Uh, with a d4? Yeah, you're blessed. Uh, uh, um, okay, you are good. You do not get restrained by that pile of mud that comes flying at you. Uh, anything else for Amnon? Uh, that's it. Adagio. Would like to firebolt the one below Uvi. That mud okay. thing below Uvi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh. Did you just <laughs> shoot Uvi? I don't know, <laughs> did I? R roll another attack. Oh, crap. 
Uh, oops. <laughs> um, roll, roll a D two. A D two. Right. Yeah. Whether it's me or Eero. Uh, uh, yeah, that's your uh, Ubi. Sorry. No, it was going to be Ubi or the horse. I'll take it. Don't shoot the horse. <laughs> Don't be a dick. I mean, the I'm horse is not. asleep, so if I shoot it, it wakes up, I think. Yeah. <gasps> the, assuming it's the regular kind of sleep. I mean, I'll wake up to a fireball to the face, but. Whatever, end of turn. Okay. I'll, yeah, the I'll dust see. guys could cast sleep once a day, so they put all your horses to sleep underneath you and then oh, all right. attacked. Four of them cast sleep. Enough hit points to knock your horses out, but not you. <coughs> uh, Doran, you are still blinded. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to reckless and try to attack this one. Okay. Oh. I'd say add a d4, but I don't think that's going to help. Uh, it might. Roll a d4. Nope. No. Oh. Um, you can roll your deck save with a d4 to see if you can get the dirt out of your eyes, though. You are still blinded. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Hero does. Uh, shut up, dude. To that one? Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, take a hu huge swipe through the mud and take a huge chunk out of it. It's still got its form. It's looking weak, though. Oh wait, I took damage. I need to roll a con a concentration check. Oh yeah, you're welcome. That's right, you took like four damage. I save. Yeah. Thank God for Warcaster. Uh-huh. Anything else, Hero? No, that's it. Okay. Uh, this one. Going to take a swipe at Ubi for a 12. No good. One next, the other one's going to take a swipe at you for an even higher 8. Ooh, that's uh, close. Yeah. Ubi, you're up. <laughs> yeah, there. I don't. Uh, bonus action, I'll hit the same, the one above me with the spiritual weapon. Uh, 12 barely hits, but yes. Yep, it's still uh, spinning in Tasmanian Devlin, but it's still standing. Then, for shits and giggles, I'm going to attempt to stick my hand into the one on the left and wound him. Oh, ooh, sorry, okay. what? <laughs> And touch my uh, well, that'll hit. Um, reach out to the dust creature with uh, your necrotic fingers, and it explodes right in your face. Make a deck save. You barely managed, thankfully, with Bless to uh, keep the dust out of your eyes. Well, 16 HP and I'm not blind. Huzzah! <laughs> uh, dead. Can't shit. He's alive. Um, him seeing you killed his buddy, he's going to try and s punch you in the back of the head, Ubi, with a 19 to hit. It will. With six bludgeoning damage to the back of your head. Ooh, looking fun now. This one is going to attack 
Dorian. I, I, yeah, I keep concentration. Yeah, with uh, advantage, that's a 10 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that one. 10, 10. And it's going to move over here. Actually, because it wants Matt. It knows what it's doing. Amnon. I'm not going to. Can we get over there? No, we can't. Uh, vicious mockery again. To dust one. Uh, this one. Okay. And this is the most I've seen Amnon insult people before. <laughs> what do you insult this one? With? Just you dusty some bitch. Ah. Is that it? He's not uh, not. He does need to understand it. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see a f- you pile. Can say of, it a completely different language. Pile of dust uh, fly off of as it looks confused. And he's going to bonus action bardic inspire. Uh... Let's do Uvi. We are again. Adagio. <laughs> I'd like to move over here. And Uvi, did you say you're doing you doing you do a big hurt? I mean, to be fair, I, I could probably last enough around and I've got self heal so you can do whatever you wish. I mean I'm still probably gonna wait. I'm still gonna heal him. Uh, I'm gonna distance spell a healing not healing, uh cure wounds. Nice. Ten. Ooh, double! You just doubled my hit points. You're welcome. Uh, bonus action. Or... Well, I mean, I don't really have a bonus action to do anything. So, and to, except you know, sorcery points conversion. And I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Uh, you can do that while Doran goes. Who is? Still blind. Always. Oh, I'm gonna try to attack this one now. One of my left. Recklessly. <laughs> Dorn's just playing his sword around. <laughs> I know. All blinded. <laughs> He's, He's just blinded. spitting in circle. If he rolls in that one. He's gonna chop Hero's arm off. Um, as you hit that mud method. It explodes in a pile of mud. All three of you do deck saves. I think I'm good. Yeah. Ubi's good. Hero's good. Or, uh, Adagio's good. What's the DC? Oh, it's an 11. See you. Yeah. And Doran, you can do another deck save to see if you can get the dirt out of your eyes finally. Hey, hey! You can see, buddy. I can see. <laughs> You're I a You are up. Nope. Nope. Anything else? <laughs> nope. Oh. This one's going to attack. Me. And miss it. Ubi, you're up. I would like to stab it with a spiritual weapon. Preferably. Okay. I should have had it move. Well, uh. We'll hit as the spiritual weapon stabs into it and it explodes. Make a deck save as more dust goes flying at your face. Okay, you managed to keep the dirt out of your eyes for that one. Then, for my action, I'm going to attempt to rip out this mud method's core. At level two. I mean, it's a little bit overkill, but. Oh, damn. It's a little bit overkill. (laughs) Yeah. How do you want to overkill it, Uvi? 
That's almost max damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm basically going to stick my hand in it and rip its core out before it can dissipate. <laughs> and you do just that, and it explodes spectacularly in another pile of mud. But it is the last one, so you guys don't have to worry about another deck save. Yay, we can see! <laughs> yes, you we can, can see. Fight. I can't you guys... blind this on Doran. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are covered in dirt and mud, though. I'm gonna look at me and Amnon. Oh, yeah. Also, are... what, what the fuck, Lurks? Where did you post? Can see. Fine. <laughs> well, that was an interesting encounter. I'm not sure where this came from. Uh, yeah, uh, Rob, quick question. Did it just appear out of nowhere, like teleportation cell, or did they like blending into the earth or something? Or the really mud ones, high stealth rolls? <laughs> no, the, the muds actually, if they're not moving, they, they natural camouflage. You can't see them. Oh, okay. Uh, when they remain moveless, they're indistinguishable. Oh, right. Then what about the, the dust things? They just got really high in stealth checks. The, yeah, they just kind of rose up out of a pile of dirt and All right, cast enough. sleep on you guys. Um, is uh, it well, not a, well attempted to cast on you guys, but the horses had the least amount of hit points. Is it possible to just have a quick check to see if they left any tracks of where they came from? Uh, you can roll a survival. I shall also use my inspiration and assistance and guidance. And guidance. Oh, well, I was about to give guidance to you. Oh, well, certainly. <laughs> All right, who wants can to give the guidance? I don't think guidance stacks. <laughs> well, if I can use inspiration on the main role, I can use assistance from Iro, and you can guide. Double guided so assistant advantage. Just roll your double ones, okay? A twenty-seven. Um, well, from what you can tell, it's hard to track the uh, dud dust methods because you dust. just see swirls and dirt that's been disturbed, but you can't really tell where they come from. And the mud ones literally just came up out of the ground, so you can you find muddy footprints scattered around, but it looks like you know tracks aren't necessarily going anywhere. It looks like they've been here a while. Hmm. We've been hearing about weird elemental things, so maybe this is the weird elemental earth things. Well, it's possible. It seems to just sprang out, out out of the ground, at least the mud ones did. Well, I think we're still fine. How's everyone look? <laughs> little Dirty, the but apparently dying. I'll be fine. No, press the oh. I think I was just gonna pour some water on my hair. Emdon's going over and checking on the horses because that's what he would do. Mount up. Let's ride again, then. But a horse is still asleep. Uh, he, it was just a sleep spell, so you guys can you know, oh, okay. well, we'll just awaken them. Gentle I'm, shaking. Yeah, actually wake up. I'm going to give everyone a, a good orange. That's a pretty good orange. Well, for 4 HP, yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic orange. <laughs> I mean, I really need it, but... Yeah, um, the, orange. The, the tieflings don't really need it. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't yeah, we need it? attack, are you born? <laughs> Add them back to my ten count. <laughs> Say hell, I'm not, I'm down to thirty eight out of fifty. Would you like some more oranges <laughs> to eat? Yeah, you got, you got two more. I fed off that scurvy. Super nutritious day. Uh. 
Uh, Rob, quick question. Am uh-huh. I able to ritual cast comprehend language on the Dwarvish book on our during our journey or no? Uh, well, no, that's me. Let me read the spell real quick. Is that the whole reason for ritual casting? Um, Kinda? Okay. You also understand any written language that you see, but you must be touching the surface, which takes about a minute to read one page of text. Um, yeah, you. I mean, you could kind of do it while you're riding. Because you guys aren't, like, galloping. You guys are just, you know, as long yeah, as you're not that- doing the... Uh, perception check you'd be able to yeah i was mainly asking because like would it be hard to ride with one hand in a horse i wouldn't know but okay did you really get a spell just to read dwarven porn yeah (laughs) maybe shut up it's gonna be dwarven (laughs) porn if it's anything else it's not gonna be worth it Rob, the moment I hear some sort of like erotic li- literature, I throw it out of my hand. <laughs> the moment I read it, <laughs> throw it out of my hand. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been trolled again. <laughs> no, it's it's not, but that's funny. And um... she stroked his beard suggestively. <laughs> No. She does. That's gross. <laughs> Dwarves. Okay. Um, no, you, you, you do manage to read a little bit of it. It is a dwarven history book, and it talks about different lineages of different dwarven clans. And it's volume like nine out of like ten. Um, you feel your. It, it's part of an incomplete collection that uh, should have been together. Uh, but it, it's like, you know, like, off guard, and this, you know, Elfling got married and had these kids and lived these years, and it's very just drawn out and boring history book of uh, dwarven history. It does it have a title? Uh, or is it just called Dwarven History Book? Boring as fuck. Yeah, right? <laughs> History of Dwarven Clans, Volume 9. Either way, Adagio will find a new goal. He's going to try to find all the other nine of these volumes. Because <laughs> why the mm. fuck not? <laughs> you can find them. Let's see what it said. Because honestly, ever since I met you guys, Adagio has not had a single goal, a single goal like, well thought of. <laughs> you say that. It's following you guys around. But... But neither has Uvi. Uvi hasn't got a goal. That's good. That's a good point. Why are we here again? <laughs> it's it's uh, volume nine of the history of the dwarven clans of Mirabar. All right. Can you can you type it in chat? Yeah. Writing in my notes, after, like, a month, I finally translated the book. <laughs> well, we kind of have a goal. Just because you're part of uh, the same faction as I am. We're supposed to be finding the uh, delegation. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, Ubi just wanders around, like, he has two jobs, he's like, I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care, and don't fucking die. Those are your two things. <laughs> and, and, and then the third one, the third one is, uh, uh don't fucking hit me, because dodge. Hey, you joke, but dodging is, is brilliant. <laughs> you don't can dodge me, all don't fucking fight. die, and then... <laughs> You guys threw me off in that fight. Ubi didn't dodge, and Adagio didn't go prone. You mean I didn't stay prone? Oh, that's true, you did start prone. And you know, well, I, to was, I, had to st- I, I had to stand up in order to shoot without disadvantage. But uh, I only pull when I there's like range attack things or whatever. I mean, I will say we are following the same pattern of hitting our own allies in damn near every fight. Well, I've I've had the enemies do it a few times too, so 
like one of the orcs yeah, beheaded the guy it. next to him. And... Oh, yeah. It was worth it, though. I mean, I had three and then Dylan. Um, so the end of the second day after your uh, mud and dust method fight uh, ends without incident. About two and a half more days to belly art. Um, let's do more uh, perceptions for the last few days. Twenty-five. Get really out of here, the Ruby. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, Adagio. You're kind of looking in your uh, books. You didn't really again pay attention as much. Cl cleric wisdom. I know. Um, <laughs> Um, you don't see anything dangerous per se. You see a small caravan of like humans and uh, a couple halflings traveling east as you guys are headed west. We've got a wagon or horses and some supplies. Would it be safe to come to the conclusion that these are heading back to Dalmon Ranch? Uh... It's up to you if you want to talk to them. They're just. I mean, there's not exactly see... a road on the map. <laughs> yeah. You do see them traveling across and they're keeping an eye on you guys. There's a couple guards um, coming with them. Uh, sure, why not? I'll just quickly head on over. No. Howdy, friend. Uh. Howdy. Any news from the east? Uh, no, we're just coming from the high forest. Are you guys heading towards Delmont Ranch? Um, actually, no. We're headed to the high forest, too. Oh, any particular reason? Oh, we do uh, trade with the uh, elves. Oh, fair enough. We're... I know people from the ranch at least were looking to head to Belliard and resupply after the attack, so that's why I assumed... That's what you guys were doing. Oh, no. Uh, not going to any ranch. Sometimes we stop by and you know, get some food, but you know, we just do regular trade with the elves. Been on the road for a while. Uh, heard anything odd in the area? Mm, nope. Uh, we heard rumors when we stopped in Belliard for supplies about uh, orcs being out this way. Well, luckily, um, that problem's been dealt with. Yeah? How uh, so? Well, the group I'm traveling with, we kind of killed them all at Delmont Ranch. That's why it's destroyed. Oh, well, that's impressive. Thanks for uh, helping out. Ah, no worries. Um, yeah, like my my friend is saying from the distance, because he didn't come over. I've got fantastic hearing. Watch out for some little <laughs> dust and mud creatures. We were attacked the other day. They just sprang out of the ground. Dust and mud creatures. Yeah, little things. That... Like... that is news to me. But uh, yeah, just keep an eye out for them. We'll do that. Well, we gotta get a moving. We gotta get this so we can uh, get our goods from them and uh, head on back to uh, Waterdeep. Well, I'll leave you to your travels. Have a safe trip. Yep, you too. I'll head back. Okay. Uh, be the end of that be the third day nothing else fancy i gotta take a quick bio break i'll be back in two minutes all right i will also be right back Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the good berries down at five in total, just so we have the daily amounts already subtracted. 
there. Uh, Uvi, you said you have Bless Always Prepared, right? Because you're a life cleric. Yes. All right. Uh, like maybe on the next level, I might get Bane. Uh, yeah, so the ones oh. I, I automatically get are Bless and Cure Wounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think yeah, it's also spiritual weapon, and I think it's lesser restoration. Am I third level or second? I don't, I don't know. I'll have to check it up a bit more. You know, I could get spiritual weapon. And then we have like two random ass weapons in the field that are attacking. People. Oh jeez, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, dude, just wait for spiritual guardians. Yeah. Oh, two spiritual guardians. I know. But hold on, that would require me to get close. I think, right? Uh, the... fifth... Could you distance spell a spiritual guardian to sixty feet? Uh, no. You sure? Ooh. Yeah, hold distance on. spell does won't work on a spell like that. Yeah, so it was Lesser Restoration and Spiritual Weapon as my domain. And at 5th, I get Revivify and Sensible. Beacon of Hope. Distance spell. And you the cast a spell that has a... Greater. Right, and Spiritual Guardians five has feet. a range of self. I believe. 15 foot radius. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it was Wait, worth inquiring. Yeah, yeah. That would be pretty, pretty powerful. I... I... I only read yeah. the 15 foot radius. I didn't read the self part. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's range of self. So, yeah, that would be OP if you could do that. Just more spiritual guardians. <laughs> It'd make it 30 that's, foot radius. That's, that's what it technically is. More you'd, spiritual guardians. It'd basically be an offensive point. paladin. <laughs> For one sorcery point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Dagio or uh, Iridesa back. Does not Let's seem that. like it. I need to roll for some town. Huh? Creepy dog. Three Four days, so, so you guys are about a half day from Belliard now. What were you saying? Um, could I have done a, a quick roll to see if I could have found any more simple herbs I could have picked up from my pouch? Um, yeah, be a... What? Nature? Yeah. No, I don't find anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Space balls, you're combing the desert with a giant comb. <laughs> comb the desert. Doran finds fuck all as well. Doran actually found shit. We ain't found shit, exactly. Yeah, you guys thought they were dust methods. They were actually shit methods. Sorry about that. Well, that explains why we've oh, all got well. pink eye. <laughs> um, so. Uh, another half day travel and you guys make it to uh, Bell Yard with just the the one random encounter. I can roll more, but it's well, we want to do 12 encounters. Um, so you guys get close to Bell Yard and you recognize that familiar scent of poo that was there last time from cattle, pigs, shit moving through there. Well, there's nothing like some manure to put, put some hair in your chest. Can you say so? I just uh, picture Ubi rubbing cow shit on his chest now. Have you never heard that saying? Nope. That's definitely got to be a UK and Ireland one. Manure puts <laughs> hair in your chest. <laughs> Uh, 
so we're supposed to go speak to uh, Ms. Shinju, I believe, was the mission. Uh, you probably have to talk to Darren, uh, Adagio, and even uh, okay. Amnon, because they're the ones who talk to her. Hero is there. I just think I don't think she said anything. So we are back in Bell Yard. Yes. Doran would start having everyone make their way. I think the name of the store was. Uh, I think I put it on her character sheet. The mirror image. The Shinju. <laughs> yeah, so Dorn would be making his way there. Okay, so, um, easy, easy wait. enough. It's not a, a a huge town. Um, you get the familiar sign with just the mirror above the uh doorway. All right. Uh, walk you walk in. in. It it looks just like before with the weird knickknacks and strange smells of brimstone and a, a bell at the counter saying uh, ring for service. I start ringing the bell. I'm just going to walk around the shop. Uh, she comes out Hello. of the back room. Hello. Hello again. Back, Dorn. We uh, took care of that little orc problem. When I heard it wasn't so little, so I did hear the problem was taken care of. Mm, 50 orcs aren't too bad. <laughs> the, uh, the ranch are taken care of. Yeah, some of the ranchers from Delmont Ranch came in here with the uh, elves <laughs> a few days past to get some supplies. <laughs> Told oh, us. so they didn't make it. Oh, yes. They they did come in. Did they tell of any hardships on the road? Uh, not anything they said. Uh, they did talk of uh, the battle at the ranch. Say, uh, you, Doran, you, uh, managed to uh, cut off the leader's head. Yeah, Impressive. And I take out the... Um... What is it? Bone made of horn. <laughs> yes, this was his. That's disturbing you would carry that. That's a token. She examines the horn. She goes, do you know what kind of it's made out of, right? Sorry, what? Uh, do you know horn? <laughs> I know. <Do> you... <laughs> Shut up. You I do know what, bone. uh, but do you know what kind of bone? I assume the animal. No, it's an elf bone. I slowly put it away. <laughs> We're carrying around a bone made out of it, or a horn made out of elf bone. Bone made I, I can't do <laughs> words. <laughs> you almost said it too. At this point, it really is just a bone, a bone made horn. out of an elf horn. Yeah, exactly. Just put all the words that matter the order. That's quite disturbing. Mm. All right, yeah. <laughs> well, Back in town. Doing some shopping, travel. Well, we did say if we took care of your work problem, you could help us out a little bit more. Information. Uh, there are a, a few things, Doran, but because she does have some items for sale. What else? Ooh, people. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm just so used to Doran typing everything. 
Um, are you guys really sure you want all the information? It is both valuable and dangerous. The courts will come after you the more you search for them or cause problems for them. I believe we can handle this information. Dangerous as it may be. Okay. It is a, a little bit of a, a story. Here's what I have learned in my studies the past quite a few years. The history of the elemental evil, we've come to know it. That story begins in Sumber Hill and goes back thousands of years. And a sect of renegade drow elves discovered extensive caverns underneath the hill. And they claimed it as the territory. These dark elves worshipped a terrible god, mortal evil. They built a shrine to his power. It was Rearin's dad, okay? Well, Rearin's dad's human. <laughs> Maybe it was his. <laughs> In time, the ancient drow faded and disappeared. Place. The of the Elder Elemental Eye had been forgotten for centuries. Am I cutting out for everybody or just him? Uh, you're cutting yeah, out you're like every out fifth word for me. Yeah. I mean, I've cut most of it, but... Yeah, okay. same. It's just you, you, you're cutting out here and there. Uh, switch Discord. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's... Yeah, we can hear you. All right. Um, so, in the place known as the Temple of the Elder Elemental Eye had been forgotten for centuries. Over the centuries that followed, adventurers occasionally stumbled across the buried strongholds of the drow vaults below. Few made any lasting record of their explanations, and their names are long forgotten. And for centuries, they've just stood empty. Some came to know them as the haunted keeps. Various monsters occasionally occupied them. The aban abandoned keeps and strongholds beneath them might have been forgotten forever. But a few years ago, a drow by the name of Vicerin de Vere returned to the ancient temple. He was a renegade drow wizard of great power. Like the forgotten sect that created the temple long ago, he devoted himself to the power of the elemental eye. Guided by visions from the eye, he created four mighty weapons and imbued them with elemental evil. And he set them one for each of the elemental prophets. What the weapons are is beyond my knowledge right now. But the prophets, I do know some of their <coughs> information. Um, within the last year, they were the four elemental prophets that they've come to call themselves. They were driven to seek out this ancient altar through dreams and visions. And one by one, the four of them claimed the weapons and became leaders of their respective cults. These four prophets established themselves in the ruins and <coughs> occupied what was the haunted keeps that guard access to the vast dungeon underneath the Sumber Hills. They have since nurtured these seas of elemental nodes and they grow larger every day and they're testing their powers to create ever larger natural disasters. Each prophet, uh, they tolerate the others begrudgingly, but they all want domination for themselves and their respective element. 
I know little about where each of these haunted keeps are located. Just be warned, some of the elements are stronger than others, but all of them must be stopped. For if even one of them succeeds, all will be lost. And they will use the elemental evil to turn their element against the world and wipe it out. That's about what I've learned so far. Do you know which of the elements is stronger or weaker? Well, personally, I think fire is the strongest because, well, look at me. I'm fabulous. Uh huh. But as far as which one's stronger than the others, that I'm not 100% sure on. Um, the keeps, they are all in the Sumber Hills. Um, they may not look uh, like, you know, a haunted house, but a, a lot of them are fronts or fake entrances or hidden entrances. Um, and they would all need to be stopped. Um, but if you're looking for them, look for them near where their elements would make sense. The Wadger one is probably going to be near the Desarin River that runs through the valley, uh, for example. The Air one is probably going to be near uh, that tower over in the Sign Valley. The Feathergill Spire. Yes, fire. I wouldn't surprise me if the air temple was near there. Okay. The um, stone one is more than likely in the hills. And the fire one, well, I don't know where you would hide a giant fire. No. Uh, no, there are no volcanoes in the Sumber Hills that I know of. In deep underground? Yes. The, well, it, that is exactly where all of them are essentially hiding. They do have... Uh, their keep is probably above ground, but then there's vast caverns underneath the Sumber Hills. And in that is where you will find the elemental profits that need to be stopped and there could be fire and magma under the ground and you know all this about the elements but do you know anything about the delegation that was lost to you uh only thing i know is they did come through here and they headed south towards Summit Hall. So, uh, I believe they had uh, Summit Hall was full of uh, noble knights and they had one of their own that had passed that they were bringing there for burial. So I believe that was where their next destination was. Well, maybe that would be the next course of action for us more than likely but we could always look on our way. I, sure. I have heard little about the four prophets themselves. Um, they're not all human. Uh, the air one is a moon elf, I believe. Uh, apparently she has wings and can fly. The, uh, the water prophet is some type of mutated human. And the earth, I've heard very little about other than it was a human at one point. And the fire, no offense to some of your companions, but is a tiefling from what I have heard. 
having a natural affinity for fire, like I do, it is a tiefling for the fire. Not exactly surprising. Um, Adagio, you don't see any of the books in the store. Damn it. All right. Sorry. Um, Ubi, I leave you, then. You leave. <laughs> yeah, I head to the like, library bookstore. Uh, <laughs> And, um, yeah, with the Ubi looking <laughs> door and asking where to sell. Um, actually, to sell to make actual money instead of just trading information, um, I do have some items that are for sale. <laughs> for the <late> my shit. <laughs> I have uh, this axe and she points to an axe on the walls that has it's a battle axe and on each side of the axe you see an eyeball um i have some potions uh i have an oil if you'd be interested uh, a magical staff and some uh magical scrolls if you are uh Wanting to cast some spells. Using superhuman uh, scrolls. Um, well, are you looking for one in particular? I have a few. Um, I'd have to look at my list real quick. Um, she doesn't have a whole lot of them. I can and roll these. A few weeks ago, <laughs> you probably have some of them already. I mean, could you give us a description on some of your items, please? Um, those are the scrolls. Um, well, um, I have this ointment here, where if you rub it on somebody who's been injured, it will heal them. Um, there's a few doses for it. If that would be something you're interested in. I can't find the name. Oh, Fairy sure. Fire would be one that I'd be interested in. Um, yeah, this oil you can swallow it or just put it on your skin and it will uh, heal you or it can also help with uh, poisons or diseases as well uh, I have some basic healing potions um, this staff here is fun this one uh, you see it, a bird at the top of it is uh, allows you to make uh, different bird calls She clicks it, and you hear quack, 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 and starts making duck noises. Kind of fun at parties. Um, there's that axe you've been eyeing on the wall. Um, that is an axe of eyes. It's a, a unique item. But it uh, gives you advantage to uh, see things around you. And uh, this oil I have, <laughs> you can't use a battle axe. Shush, to learn. I already see everything. <laughs> yeah. Gives you an advantage on perception checks. And uh, this oil I have is a special thing I make. Um, you can apply it on a door, and it'll allow you to see through the door for a minute without uh having to open it that's pretty cool yes it's my oil of infernal espionage it's quite fun to watch people when they don't know you are there 
How much for the uh the health potion? Uh these are just the the basic ones, so they are fifty gold apiece. Uh like I said, I'm interested in the uh fairy fire scroll. Uh first it's first level spell, right? Yep. Uh first level spell scrolls are seventy five, I believe. So I have various gems, question mark, and that's five of them. I don't know how much they are, though. Yeah, I have one gem, and I'm not sure how much it is. Uh, I can take a look at those for you. Oh. Ooh, they kind of smell like orcs' ass. Where did you get them? I don't remember. You, you got them. <laughs> Maybe an orc's that. ass. You got him from the after the orc fight. The orc leader had him on him. Um, now you can get the fairy fire scroll, but I don't know if you could cast it. It is artificer bard druid. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can, then. It sucks. Yeah, I don't think anyone in the party could cast it. I mean, we have a bot in the party. Oh, yeah. And not on the corner going, dude, what about me? Which, actually, he's already got a fairy fire. Um... Oh, uh, those uh, gems, uh, they're worth about uh, 50 gold a piece. So I could take those off your hands if you'd like. Um, you said the gems are 50 gold a piece? Yeah, I mean, if I could trade them in, that would be what? 250 gold? Yes. Yeah, that would be great to source these over so I could use that for spell scrolls. Yeah. Uh, a, uh, gem. Sorry, I couldn't hear over the cat. <laughs> the uh, potions of healing were 50 gold apiece? Yes. I hand her one gem for it. Okay. You have a potion of healing. I think that's the first one for the party. I hand her no gems. Uh, potion of minor healing is 2d4 plus 2, something like that? 2d4 plus 2. Okay. Does anyone actually need the Drift Globe now that we have a tiefling? The only person that doesn't have Dark Vision, I think, is Ubi. I think you have Light. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we really use it at all. Cool. So yeah, I could sell the drift load. <laughs> and uh, what's his name? Kick off with our hat of vermin. Uh, well, actually, you guys sold it, and he rebought it. Yeah, that's yeah, it. So that's completely bishops. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll keep the potion of fire breath in handy. That one came in handy in that last fight with the dust things. Yeah, who were weak against fire. That would have been nice. Um, but yeah, so how much would the Drift Globe sell for? Uh, that's what I'm trying to look up. Five hundred gold. Well, you can buy it for seven fifty, so you're not gonna quite get five hundred gold for it. <laughs> Stupid thing. Um, you don't want to keep your uh, shiny globe. No, I don't really have any use for it. I can see them in the dark. Okay. Um, yeah. 
I might be able to find a buyer for it eventually. Um, roll a d100 for me. Be able to give you three seventy five for that. That'd be fun. So three hundred and seventy five gold. All right. Mm -hmm. Party. Yeah, there is a, a party loot in the notes, so that already has a little bit in it. Oh, it does. Yeah. I just know I've got to spend a bunch of money to get my spellbook stuff, so I don't know. Yeah, it's... I mean, we guys... haven't really had much use for gold lately, so... May I ask, how much is the axe? <clears throat> oh, the axe. The Axe of Eyes, that was 750 gold. Yeah. It is a one of a kind. And... I think I might keep with this as I kind of show my Elven Great Sword. Oh, that is a very nicely made sword. Yeah, apparently my father used it. Oh. Interesting. Never met my father. Apparently not a lot of people have. <laughs> I apparently just met mine. Well, I mean, Genassis, most of them, ha unless they're both parents are Genassis, they haven't met their uh, elemental parent. Yeah. They're all, they're all assholes. Elemental jerk. Um, well, if you guys are ever back in town and want to trade more information, or um, I do have more potions and that oil you thought was interesting. So I need one, two, three, four hours and three hundred gold to get the ones that I don't have from the spell book. Uh, you have more scrolls, or no? I have this the spell book that I got from the elves, oh. and then my yeah, because you could copy them into your spell book. Now you could cast them out of either spell book or prepare out of either spell book. Yeah, but to have two copies, I can put one in one right. and one in the other. Yeah. Well, if that is all, I have uh, work to do. Feel free to stop in again sometime. She shuffles you guys out the door. I guess we head for where the delegates near summit hall. Uh, it is about three o'clock in the afternoon now. I would just send this to the others as an idea. <laughs> so yeah, you guys could either uh, stay in town, let Eero do her spell stuff, or uh, head out. Yeah, do we want to set up a in the morning, get a full day's travel instead. Yeah, that would probably be the better idea. It'd be nice to get a bath and a nice warm bed for the night. Yeah, you guys did find the inn the last time you were here as well. That was the Horned Helm, I believe it was. Yeah. I think. Or no, not the Horned Helm. Helm the Watchful Knight. Watchful Knight. Yeah, it, yeah Watchful named Knight. after Helm Tour. 
But yes, the watchful night. And you guys do need. Oh, okay. I do have a map for there. Blue? There's a map. Yeah, there's a map. The pen. <laughs> damn it. You don't know, you haven't gone in there yet. Oh, I'm I'll, I'll head in. Hey, I'm Senya. I'll be your server. Uh, have a seat at one of the empty tables. Uh, thank you. Um, primarily, thank you. could we inquire about how much it would cost for once? <laughs> for all. Oh, yeah. The uh, Neshwar at the bar. He does the room. Thank you. Um, I'll join them in a second. I'll, I'm just going to inquire about the rooms. Hey, how can I help you? Uh, hello, yes. There's, um, looking for rooms for five of us. Well, we could probably double up for... Two of us, so yeah, there's three uh, rooms. Three rooms? Uh, yeah, we got four available. We can definitely do three. They're uh, eight silver a night. Um, I could do something about that over here. Give me one second. Um, hello, sorry to interrupt, but as a representative of my party, I do have a few things that I could give it to you to maybe make this a little nicer. Okay. Uh, so, I have the name of uh, um, yeah, I can't even think, I'm blanking. Uh, my name is Lady Erdes Autumnflame of House Autumnflame in the Water Deep, which is my scroll. And this is my signet ring. If you could make out a line of credit to them, they will make sure that you are paid. Paid back. Yeah, we probably do the three rooms. You'd be on your own for buying food, though. Um, their uh, caravan usually stops by here when they're traveling to and from water deep so I can uh, hit them up then so I don't have to wait a month and a half to get paid absolutely um, they were just here a few days ago traveling uh, east towards the uh, I think they said the high forest thank you very much then uh, we will definitely take care of our food and lodging will be covered thank you very much I walk away. <laughs> well, that's quite handy. Uh, yeah, she used that before in Red Larch. But I only covered myself in Red Larch now that I have an actual traveling party that I've been spending weeks with. She'll be a little bit nicer and cover a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, so rooms are covered. We just have to cover our own food. Yeah, because it covers up to two gold a day. So I think Ubi covers our food forever. As long as Usually. Alive and with us. Yeah, but, but if you guys don't like warm food and drink other than your water skin. I mean, I don't drink, but. Sure. How do you survive without liquids? No, I mean like drink alcohol. Oh. Yeah, of course, I drink li like water, obviously. So 
<laughs> I thought she would be dead by now. Why is it? Well, yeah, Uvi will ask how much it would cost for one of everything. Uh, the food is three silver per person. What, for one of everything? Uh huh. Sure, and he will take some mead. Ale is, or mead is going to be four copper a cup. That's fine. Uh, how much is a bottle of wine? Oh, you want a bottle of wine? Uh, I can see what we got back there. It ain't nothing fancy. This is a, you know, cattle uh, town. You can tell by the shit smell. But uh, I think we got a, a bottle back there. It's uh, two silver. <laughs> two silver? I'll give her. Yeah, I'll give her two. Okay, uh, I'll bring out the drinks. Uh, a little early for food. It's only middle late afternoon, but we can bring you out something if you're hungry. Uh, no, I'm 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 just paying in advance. Yeah. So you guys have a a few hours before dinner and dark if you want to do anything. I'm not doing any studying to transfer this in. Okay. Um. The stairs are here, they go up to the room, um, or you can uh, transcribe here, it's up to you. Um, if everyone is staying in here, then I will stay. If not, I would go up to a room. Dorm would stay down here. Yeah, same. Uh, then you go up to his room. <laughs> kind of watching the other uh, patrons in the bar. Yeah. Same See if anyone's it. talking about anything while I'm studying. Yeah, I'd be keeping an ear out as well. Uh, you got the, uh, the Kenku and the other guy over here are um, talking. The, the one guy, uh, the guy's talking about uh, their cattle, and the Kenku just repeat keeps repeating them. And he's like, God damn it, I need another help hand on the farm, not this wannabe parrot that just repeats everything. And then it repeats it right back at him. He's like, fucking shit. Fucking shit. That's not annoying at all while I'm studying. No, not at all. <laughs> it's like basically a little kid playing the repeat game. But why? It's like why? nonstop deja vu <laughs> seconds later. Yeah, that's just a, a guy up there with some of his friends drinking. There's a uh, couple over here having a meal, and there's a dwarf over here at that table who's um, reading a book. Udagio, I got you a dwarf on purpose so that you didn't have to get comprehend languages. Well, you're a bit too late there, buddy. I mean, <laughs> if you're lucky, it's reading one of the nine other volumes you need. Goes up to the door. Is he really? <laughs> you don't know. You're up in your room. So much coincidence. Yep, so, uh, two hours past Eros, so you can get two hours worth of your stuff. <laughs> um, and they're bringing out uh, food for dinner. Okay, so that would be both the first level spells. I would be uh, pouring wine from the bottle to whoever needs it, basically. Yeah, Ubi's just drinking mead. Mead. Yeah. You see a, a few people pass in and out of the tavern as you guys are hanging out there for a while. Um, you saw one guy who was in here uh, ran out. He's like, I gotta go! And he runs. I like how there's even uh, toilets here. In case you gotta go to the privy. Technically, you'd be going to the outhouse. Mm hmm. So, uh, um, comes and goes. Okay. Okay. 
So we eat and then I, I would continue studying. Um, Try to get one of the second levels in. Yeah. Ubi make, or um, Doran, Amnon, and Ubi make uh, perception. I control in on so. Well, that just takes the piss. It rolled on 20s and just creeped over to a 2. <laughs> oh, because you're watching the dice. Yeah. yeah. I don't see them when you roll them like that. So. <laughs> Wait, huh? Oh, like I said, Amnon roll and then no one can control them. Ubi's too busy stuffing his face with real food. You guys put us through a bar fight? No. Um, it, is, it, it is getting dark outside um, as you guys are finished your meal. Um, you would have had another hour, Hero. Also, uh, Rob, did you get the place price on you? Yes. All right, I do that. <laughs> I need one more hour for Arcane Lock. Um, and uh, Doran, who, despite drinking a little bit, is uh, paying a little more attention than Uvi, busy staring at the Kenku. Um, you hear, start to hear, and that uh, some of the townsfolk running by outside, going, "Oh my!" And screaming. I immediately get up and run out. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Going to the other, something is happening. Um, as something you get up, happening. as it's you off. get up, start running. The two windows here get busted open. As you see, I don't happen to hear this from upstairs, do I? <laughs> uh, you can hear the windows crashing open. Yes, uh, your alarm wouldn't have gone I'm just off. Let's go assume that's Doran. <laughs> yeah, the alarm wouldn't have gone off because uh, they didn't break your window. Oh, shit. It broke my window. <laughs> no, no, they wouldn't have broke your window. Oh, so you wouldn't. So have my heard. alarm went off. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> So as soon as they pop through, I close my spell book and tuck it away and then pull out my rapier. And you jump out the front door and there is a giant dog outside who looks like he is on fire coming at you. Well, hot dog. No, it is not a hot dog. Well, sort of. I'll make Ooh, a high initiative roll for once. <coughs> We're all pretty high up. 2019, 8, 17. Mm, let's see what I'm rolling. 11, 8, not too low. 5. Um, Adagio, are you staying up in your room? Cause... I mean, no. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, if you were, like, I was gonna give you just can give you control of Amnon. No, I mean I'm not. I mean, I, as soon as I finish my like alarms, I'm gonna bring my head back down. Yeah, because it's it's been a few hours since you guys have been here. Oh well, then I would have went down as soon as my alarms were done, like, like an hour, depending how many windows or doors there were in the room. Okay. Um. Nas, you got Amnon. Um, I am putting some of the bar people in the initiative too, in case they do. So this is a bar fight. <laughs> yeah, essentially, you are in a bar fight. It's a fight in a bar. Lie to me. <laughs> Uh, servers aren't going to do anything. He is literally just a token. Um, 
Uh, Irodessa. You see these fire dogs bust open the windows as you heard people screaming nearby. What do you do? Uh, bonus action, blade damage. Action, frostbite. Uh, which one? Okay. All right. For one cold damage. Lovely. Loving my damage rolls recently. Oh, it, it hits, though. So. What's the other effect on Frostbite? What is it? What's the other effect Frostbite does? Uh, disadvantage on melee attacks. Okay. Yeah, so it it did fail its con save, so it did get a little frosty. Uh, Adagio, you were in your room, you said? I'm saying when, when after I was done with the alarm spells, I would go back down. Depending okay. on how many windows or doors there were. Yeah, because that would have only taken you 10 minutes. You've been here like three hours, so. Well, I mean, 10 minutes per window slash door. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah, but you, either way. Yeah, you would have had enough time, so if you wanted to be at the table, you could be at the table. Oh, sure, why not? I'm at the table. The Dajo blinks back into existence. Uh... Whoa. It's a weird feeling that these things are resistant to fire. It's just a weird feeling. Don't know why. Uh, chaos. The one ear that said just frostbited. Okay, so that'd be the one on the right. And I hope I don't get fire. Right, uh, fire, fire. <laughs> be funny. Four to five. I'm so close. Uh, it's so far from the bounce. Uh, it missed anyway. With an 11. Uh, we didn't take a long rest, did we? Oh, we did. Yeah, um, it's been like a day and a half, so you've def okay, yeah, definitely. Okay, never mind. Yeah. So uh, definitely. Bonus action, rest. just uh, for sorcery points, and my turn. Okay. Uh, Doran, are you back? I'll take that as a no. He said he'd be right back, but he's going to do his rage and attack, like he said. That's a mess, Doran. <laughs> uh, luckily, I've just measured it out, so before I run off, I'm going to be casting Bless. On, on myself, Iridessa, and Adagio. Okay. Thirty feet after running around Amnon on the table. And I will I'll No, I won't do a bonus action. That's my turn. You just run up? Yeah, so action bless and that's it. Okay. And a blue dot for concentration. Um, she's gonna back the fuck up. Um, she's actually gonna try to shoot it with the, her arrows. And hits it with the second one. What the hell are those things? And she jumps over the counter. Uh, this one's going to try to wreck Doran's face because he's not here. With a 9 to hit. Yay.
He's just moving up front to guard his girlfriend. Hellhound's going over to Ubi. Um, tacking with advantage. Uh, old pat tactics. Yep. Uh, 24 to hit. That shall hit. 7 piercing and 6 fire. So, 13... Yeah, so I just need to make a 10. Technically, that was um, advantage, but yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, the other one next to you attacks with a 18 to hit. That will hit. 8 piercing, 10 fire. Oh, shit. Yeah, these, guys, these guys are no joke. Um, so I think that's just another 10 as well. Yes, 10. Yeah, you're good. Uh, Amnon, that's you, uh, Nas. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, you ran up to him, buddy. <laughs> well, I don't want to shatter the bar, so that's not a good idea, because Amnon wouldn't do that. Yeah, I pull a door and all over again. He's going to run up. And... Rapier. Nope. Yeah, that's a mess. Uh, bow's action, inspire on uh, Ubi. Inspire Ubi? Okay. God, Ubi's so inspired this session. <laughs> Uh, the lady back there who is on her date is going to cast Sacred Flame on one of them. Which thankfully is Radiant. And he fails. As you see the fire burn the one that's in between uh Ubi and Amnon. Uh, Irodessa, you're up. Alright, and I'm blessed? Yes, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out the Shadow Blade. Oh, you're throwing it? Yep. Keep forgetting you can do that. Um, 16 will hit. Which one are you throwing at? First one. Okay. Uh, and then, I don't know if it matters, but four fire damage to the one next to it. Yeah, you see it just sizzles, but it doesn't seem to affect it. Okay. Uh, Daggio. Uh, one second, I have to do something. Dodge action and then turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you're doing? Oh, he's in the middle of something. We can come back to him. Um, Doran's going to try to attack Reckless this time, because he missed the first time. And misses the second time. Uri? Uh, Uri would like to take the very smart dodge action. And he would like to bonus action healing word because he has three hit points. Oh, shit. Like I said, you nearly dropped the cleric. Jesus Christ, Doobie, what the hell? So I'll be casting this at level two. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
I receive 11 points of... Oh, no. 11... 14 points of healing. Uh, and I'm guessing you're not moving. Uh, no, I'm dodging. Okay. She is going to stick her head back over the counter and fire a couple more arrows. Um, I think that second one's going to hit. She hits the one that's uh, over here and ducks back behind the counter. Uh, this one's going to attack Doran. Now. Yep. For Sorry, eight. I'm not outside right now. So. Sorry. Uh, 22 to hit. Jesus. Uh, does six piercing have? Does three? And then four fire damage, not half. Uh, he's guarding her. Uh, they're going after Uvi with a straight roll. Uh, a seven. In no. With advantage, that's a nine, just for the record. Uh, and then the other one's going to try to attack you with a straight roll with a nine. And no. Wow. I'm none. <laughs> Um, how bad are you still looking, Nubi? <laughs> I'm back up to half health. Cure wounds. You gotta get up next to him. I am next to him. Oh, you're Amnon. It just said Eero. That's what threw me off. Yep. Huzzah, I'm not nearly dead. That's it. Okay. Um, this chick is going to try to Sacred Flame again. Oops, wrong save. Dex save, wow. That one on the save. Uh, and that doggy's looking hurt. Uh, Eero, you're up. Okay. Um, Shadow Blade again. Nineteen to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, you oh, yeah. the, the same one? Yep, same thing. Yeah, you throw the blade at it and it explodes into it as it uh, dissipates into a pile of ashes. Okay. And then, yeah, the fire jumps over to this one and then does nothing. Um, Vox, are you back? No. Uh, yep, 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 back. All right, uh, Something came up. Uh, I gotta go after this, but I'll make it really quick. Uh, or maybe after my next turn. Yeah, yeah, after my next turn. Uh, I have to go. But uh, I'm gonna go over here. And I guess our chaos fall again. Okay. The one uh, below Uvi. Yep. Yeah, no, always, okay, so I want to know if, like, if it's a crit, does it those damage die count as a chance to bounce? Uh, that's double the damage dice. So are you saying it should it be a 5, 8, 8 or 2? No, I'm saying, like, if on the second set of damage die, like, for the crit, and it happens, like, about the same number, does it bounce? Actually, you know, it doesn't even matter. It's not even close enough, so never mind. Um, what type of damage are you doing? Oh. Uh, let me check. Uh, it's, uh, five and eight. I have to look at the chart every time. I think five might be... 
thunder no no eight is thunder i, I do thunder yeah thunder okay yeah a blast of thunder hits and kind of shakes uvi a little bit but you can see the uh the fire dog you felt that shit all right same return door Sorry, still outside. I got picked up out. Okay, sorry, you missed again. God damn it. <laughs> Uvi. I will use the inspiration dice and attempt to wound this flaming hound. By again sticking my hand in a flaming hound. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Adagio. As if you would, if you could count both the eights as a bounce, but like you said, it was too far to bounce. Yeah, it's. I, I feel like it would have bounced, but it went too far. It feels bad. Oof. Uh, yeah, that hits. You're doing some damage with your fucking uh, attack, man. Yeah, I think Uvi puts a different meaning to hand-to-hand -hand combat. I mean, 3d10 well, is that, quite a lot. It, U Uvi's never picked up a weapon. Yeah. He's either using his claws or today he's been inflict wounds. He is a weapon. Oh, do do. And busting out of this door. What's their speed? Oh, that's a lot of speed. It's going to bounce over at you, Adagio. They can go fuck off. Um... With uh, 24 to hit. I mean, wild, wild surprise, yeah, it hits. <laughs> uh, nine piercing, four fire, so the fires have to two, so 11 damage. Oh, yeah, I'm hurt. <laughs> no, Daggio and this other one have been just dueling out here. Uh, or Doran. Uh, that's a 20 to hit Doran. I'm six, back. Six piercing halved to three and five fire. Okay, you're down to 35 health. Did you already take it down? <coughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, excuse me. Um, that was <laughs> bad. Okay, and this one's going for Ubidar. With a uh, 20 to hit. Uh, yes. Uh, oof, nice rolls. Uh, nine piercing, nine fire. Oh. <laughs> what are you at? Uh, nine. Nine. Uh, concentration check. Uh, yeah, but now it'd still be a 10, wouldn't it? Yes, 10. DC. Oof, Warcaster saves you again. Yeah, fucking tell me about it. I just did. Uh, Amnon. I'm gonna cast it on the one that just ran into Adagio. Okay, and that's... Wisdom... Nat 1, so roll damage. So 3d6. Eight psychic, and it has to use its reaction to move as far as possible. Uh, which means that Dajo can also get an attack of opportunity. Well, we don't have any weapons. Yeah, you could punch it. I don't want to punch a, like, a dog that's on fire. That's stupid. Well, I mean, I'm fire resistant, but still. Yeah. 
Oh, I have a dagger, but I, but he wouldn't have it out. And he bolts back out the door. You. <laughs> I like to think that the dog heard a dog was dog whistle noise. <laughs> yeah, that was the wasn't a whisper of words. It was pitched uh, dog whistle. Yeah. Fifteen. Oh, you got lucky because fifteen will hit, fourteen will miss. Uh, which one are you throwing at? I guess the only one you can see. Yep. Uh, and that one explodes in a puff of. Brimstone and ash. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm jumping over here. And that's it. Adagio. Uh, Ruby, you said you were hurt, right? Uh, yes, but I was going to heal myself next turn as well, so. Anything you want to do, bud. Yeah, he got busted I mean, up because there were two next to him. They're not there anymore. I mean, I don't think I could do much to one door, so my best bet is going over healing you. Uh, uh. Seven. I'll take it. Uh, Doran. Uh, All right. Come on, hit. You've missed him three times in a row. Really? Right. Fourth time. Sure. There you go. There you go. You robbed that guy. You. <laughs> uh, seventeen. Nice. Uh. Um, dead. You what? I said that, that'll be my turn. Okay, Ubi. A question about action economy, cause it, because I've never actually done this combo before. Am I able to Guiding Bolt and Spiritual Weapon? Bonus action action spells? Yeah, like it's two spells, so am I able to do that? Yeah, I I allow it. Because okay. I know it's supposed to be one, which is supposed to be a cantrip, but... But yeah, I was just making sure first before I jump out the window and... Oh shit, I can't actually do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can see the broken glass on the ground there. I jump out the window. I assume I can see both. Um, what were you here? Yeah, it'd be all your movement. Definitely. Yeah, you've got line of sight on both. Then I will create a spiritual weapon next to Darn. So I'm just marking down the slots on the back of my sheet. Mm-hmm. And first I stab a pooch. Stab a pooch. No, you don't. Well, never mind that one. With my last second weapon level spell, I'm going to attempt to cause my hand to glow and launch radiant energy at a fleeing dog. Oh, 16 hits for 23. Nice damage. And this is my turn. Okay, doggy's turn. It's also advantage on that dog since it got hit. Oh yeah, and the next one. Um, it is gonna run over to Ubi and take a bite out of you. Actually, no. It's going to breathe fire on you. Awesome. 
Oh, actually, no. It's going to be Disney Sand. It's what? No, I'm saying, never mind. Um, so, make a deck saving throw. No. Uh, uh, how much hit points do you have? <laughs> well, you don't kill me outright, but you knock me unconscious. <laughs> yeah, you're down. Yeah, so four more, and that would have been my hit, my hit total. That was a good roll for 66. Out of a possible... You got the threefold. Yeah, out of a possible 36, it got 30. So all yeah, of a sudden... You didn't roll below average either. <laughs> no. Eero and Dorin are just going to see the spear dissipate. Oh, and bless. Yep. No, we need that. What are you moving for, Uvi? You're down. No, I had to oh. move up so I could slap the... Stuff. Um, that's its turn. Uh, one by Doran. It is going to do the same thing and breathe fire and they hit Eero and Doran. Absorb elements. Such a good spell. Yeah. Um, put that one in chat. Doran, make a deck save. I mean, it's kind of useless against fire enemies that are immune, but it's still such a good spell. It makes me take half damage, though. Yeah, and you deal an extra d6 oh, of that damage oh, oh, on the oh. next strike. You don't have advantage, right, Doran? No. Okay. Um, so, Doran, you take 20. Um, so, 10 less than what each just does. <laughs> did you put it? Oh, what does absorb elements do? I yeah. It gives me resistance, fire. and then it also lets me hit them with that element for a d6 on a melee attack. But okay, not uh, matter. It's just giving me. Resistance. Um, you pass the save too, so you only take five. Sweet. Because the DC was twelve, so just barely. Uh, Amnon. Oh shit, and none is going to... Cure what? Second level. Yay! Conscious but prone. 15 hit points. Uh, anything else for Amnon? Nope. Okay. Uh, Iridessa. Go over there and shut up. That's a miss. Actually, um, I took. I need to make a con save for that to see if it's up. Oh. DC. Yeah, it wouldn't have been. Uh, well, what's your... Do you, you don't have a con modifier? Yeah, you have two on your con modifier. Be oh, like, right, yeah, shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good then. Yep. Yep. Uh, Dashio. So you were doing you have, like, advantage on concentration checks? Uh, Ubi does. Oh. Yeah, no, I think so. On your blade song. Alright, never mind. Uh, assuming I could see Ubi from this angle, I would like to distance both your room. Yeah, you could you could have done it before you uh, moved against the wall. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. 
This is gonna be a second level. Okay. I don't have advantage on it, but I have a plus four or five. Oh yeah, yeah. You can't just, you plus can't four. Twelve. Ooh, I'm looking healthier than I did after the first round. Move over here and end of my turn. End of my turn. Okay, Doran. Go for this again. Attack it. Uh, recklessly. Okay. Uh, that'll hit. So close, folks. Was that a, a 19? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 17. Nice. Uh, it's looking hurt, but it's still uh standing. Just got one leg up, like. Uh. Yeah, uh, it'll be my turn. <laughs> uh, prone Uvidar. Uh, prone Uvidar would like to. At, at advantage. Oh no, it's just out of my range. I'll stand up first. Take a step across. And at advantage, attempt to stick my hand straight through its skull. And wound it. Yeah. You stick your hand right through its skull and it just explodes in a blast of fire and heat. I turn around, move a... Uh... You've already used 20 feet. Yeah. There. Um, I'm just going to measure quickly yeah. how far I am away from Doran. Son of a bitch. What you? What do you need to be? Thirty, I believe. Oh, yeah, not quite. Uh, that one's dead. Oh no, this sixty one. feet. I will healing word Doran. Oh yeah, yeah. healing word, sixty feet. Come on, big money, big money. Man, you run out of spell slots quick, man. So that's actually ten points of healing. How many spell slots you got left? None. <laughs> That's the lowest I've been for in a long time. Um, well, it is going to attack you with advantage, Doran. Yeah. Uh, 21 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, 7 piercing halved is 3 and 4 fire damage. So, was that seven total? Bad <clears throat> roll. I mean, be glad I gave you some extra hit points. Yeah. Am <coughs> mm, not. Yeah, just be glad it, they weren't all using their fire breath that early. He's going to call him a bitch like it's a bad thing. <gasps> Maybe it is a female dog. You know, Am not would probably talk to these Things that just somewhat resemble an animal. <laughs> I know. I was thinking the same now that, thing. Now that I think about it, um, it fails. So it did take the the two mockery damage. Two. It didn't work. Uh, hero. Miss. Yep. Is that it? I mean, that's about what I can do. Okay. Adagio. Come on, Blue. Uh, Do my boy, Blue. Doran's been fighting the same one since this battle started. Yeah, I can tell. Blue and purple, uh, come on. Want me to hope you're not. Uh, mm -hmm. Mind Spike. Mine's no damage. Is that it's a cantrip, so it's all or nothing? No, it's a spell slot. 
Oh, is it? If a cantrip did 12 out. damage, that's nice. pretty good cantrip. Uh, Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. At this level, shut up, guys. <laughs> um, nat 20 on the save. What does it take? Half damage? Six, yeah. Okay. It's looking... It has a big headache. <laughs> yeah, it's got a headache. It's It got insulted. Doran hit it once out of, like, six. So it's looking yeah, it's hurt. Yeah, turn. Doran. Reckless. Woo! How do you want to do this? <laughs> I don't even need to see the damage. But in half. Screw it. Uh, Doran's done. He's just slicing it up. Is it explodes into ash and you're just slicing and stabbing the ash? Yeah. Doran's finishing fights with Nat 20s, man. I can't hit, but when I do, I'm right. Ubi's just gonna feel his hair. Ah, oh, shit, it's charred the tips. Yep, your your beard's all crispy, and you rub your beard, and half of it falls out. What the hell were those? Well, whatever the hell they were, they're breathing fire. You see the patrons and servers are sticking their head out. Like, well, at least they didn't breathe out. the fire out in the uh, tavern. It got quiet. Are they gone? Is everything okay? It seems like everything's okay. How is everyone in here? Uh, we're we're okay. Uh, uh, what the hell was that? Oh, I'm sitting down. Those did not look like cows. No, those were not cows. What do I know? What those were? Uh, you can make. I guess that'd be like Arcana. Yeah, you know what they are. <laughs> I believe those were what are called hellhounds. Um, I think they're gone for now. Uh, hellhounds? How did hellhound? Wait, uh, how did they get here? Hell if I know. Uh -huh. Keep a lookout on it though. I guess I need to sweep up the glass. Uh, thanks for not destroying the bar. Uh, do you have anywhere for... Um, or a mirror? I'm gonna have to shave the rest of this beard off and deal with my hair after they set me on fire. Oh, yeah, they... Definitely uh, singed your beard, buddy. Um, should be a mirror in your room. Next to the uh, wash bowl. Ah, thanks. I'll I'll deal with this. Everybody's now sitting uh, and standing nervously, and they're all staring at the windows and doors, waiting for something else to happen. <laughs> I snap my fingers and I put Tido outside on like the roof, <laughs> just keeping an eye out. <laughs> I'm just telepathically like, tell him if there's anything else coming towards it please let us and then I will go back to studying here <laughs> <laughs> well, blew up the fire dogs I'm going back to my book can I collect some of the hellhound dust uh, put in some of the bag if you'd like it's more of just ash and dust ash okay Yeah. just a little bit Ubi comes down after 10 minutes clean shaven and his hair a little shorter. You gotta get a, a new uh, token for your character now. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've had a shave. I suppose I needed one, but I didn't want to have it burned. It looks fine. Does it look like these things originated from somewhere in town? 
Or did they just appear? Uh, you're not sure. You just heard people uh, screaming and yelling outside, and then they came crashing into the bar. Uh, I would like to look for one of the outside, one of the people outside, townsfolk. Okay. Excuse yeah, me. Um, yeah, you go outside. Uh, you don't. You don't see that many people because they're, they're the moment they're kind of right. hiding in their houses. They're all gone. You can come out now. It, it's safe. It's safe. What? What? What the hell? What are those things? We've had cattle run through town because, well, it's a cattle town, but not fucking fire dogs. Uh, did anyone see where they came from? Uh, uh, we think they came from that way. They kind of point uh, west out of town. They just said they just ran into town and they attacked a couple people and uh, apparently they ran uh, to the bar. Are these the only things that came into town? Was there anything with them? Uh, not anything? that we know of. All right, so they came from the west. Okay. I would go back into the bar and kind of roll away that the others like, hey, these seem seem to come from the west, from what people have said. <coughs> well, it, uh, Miss Shinzen did say that so the temples were in the. The hills, so it's possible that the fire temple, considering they were breathing the ship, are probably well, nearby. They, they, they probably they probably summoned them on the town. What reason would they have to attack the town, though? Well, if you remember correctly, she did say the more information we learn, the more danger we would be in. Kind of ironic that immediately after we find out, we're attacked by flaming dogs. Yeah. Well, we should all get some rest. Uh, probably. I agree. I've got a couple more hours to do, and then I'll be up. Well, I assume, Adagio, you don't want to room with Amnon, correct? Yeah, uh, no. Uh, Doran, do you have a preference be between Adagio and Amna? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. I'll room with Blue if I need to. Very well. Uh, you two can take one room. I'll room with Amna, and the third is for Rudessa. I guess blue and purple don't go well, do they? <laughs> what well, depends? Uh, I'll probably stay down here for a little more, have a bit more drink before I head up. Dorn would head up. I'm going to finish studying. Okay. Yep. You're able to um, finish doing your last uh, copying over you were wanting to do. You're minusing off the gold as you go. Yep. I did a total of 300 gold. Up. 
Now I have Arcane Lock and Nystor's Magic Aura. That's an interesting spell. So, uh, what have you learned? I'm sorry? So, uh, I see you studying some, some of your magics. What have you learned, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, well, I'm able to cast them after I'm able to transcribe them and read them. Uh, the recent ones that I got from a book from my father's, uh, castle. Castle? Keep? Keep. Keep. Um, one was jump. Oh no, was it jump? Wait a second. Uh, yes, yes, uh, jump and alarm. So one makes you jump really high and far, one makes it so if anyone that you don't choose walks into an area, it'll trigger an alarm that'll wake me up. Um, good for nighttime perceptions. Uh, and then recently, these are the little bit more powerful ones, I have what's called arcane lock. So I need gold dust with about 25 gold um, to do it, but I can Pretty much lock something until I unlock it and dispel it. Oh, that seems quite handy. I'm sure it can be, especially for someone that wants to keep the stuff safe. Um, and then this one, it's odd. Yeah, that one could have some... Uh interesting uses for yeah I haven't really read over this one but it's weird I can change the information that someone can get from looking at something so it's kind of like a uh... A magical misdirection, kind of? In a sense. I mean, it's impressive, the stuff you learn. Yeah, uh, it's hard to find sometimes, and it's expensive to do, especially because the way that I learned how to cast spells wasn't at a school that made it a little bit easier for each one. Uh, I learn more of a melee spellcasting way. I mean, yeah, it's, it seems like it'd take a, a long time to to really learn any of that. Uh, about an hour for the shorter ones, or the easier ones, and then it was like two hours each for each of the others. Well... That's only to learn them. Surely you have to spend a little time practicing them. Well, you practice while you learn. It's just sometimes you don't know the full use until you actually use it. Well, it definitely sounds like a better way to get magic than how I got mine. How did you get yours? If you don't mind me asking. I kind of got it all at once and had to figure it out what I had. It's a little confusing at first. Interesting. Yeah. How do you learn more? I am, after a while I kind of just know the, what I can use it's like I said it's kind of where like, you get given the magic and you kind of have to figure it out as you go so it's similar you just understand it one day whereas I have to study to figure it out uh, I will say it like that yeah it must seem rather annoying people like myself or maybe even Adagio who kind of just have magic. It can be, but 
I know that my arsenal can grow quite exponentially with enough income and time. Well, here's to having more as we go. More as we go would be nice. So, we're heading out in the morning to the Summit Hall first, correct? I believe so. Uh, Doran also wanted to head south, so it seems like that's the at least general consensus. And what will we be keeping an eye out for on the way? Any ideas? Just elemental weirdness? <laughs> it seems to be the what we're looking out for primarily everywhere else we're going, so why not? I mean, if that's all we have to go on, we do need to find this delegation, though. They're important to uh, the Lord's Alliance. Well, hopefully we we can get some information on them when we get to the Summit Hall, and we can decide where to go from there. Agreed. We should get some rest, though. Good night. Good night, Evie. And close my book, start picking up all my stuff, and then head up to my room. Yeah, once Eero goes up, I'll go five minutes later into mine and uh, Amnon's room. I ritually cast alarm around my room. Okay. And you guys go to rest for the night with uh, no more attacks of uh, fire doggies. And wake up in the morning. Okay. Uh, once we head out, I will cast Major on myself, as you do every day. <laughs> had you had it cast on you before, earlier? Mm -hmm. uh, every day, every morning I wake up and I'm like, mmm, mage armor. So that's at like 8 o'clock, so I gotta start doing all the battles at like 6 p.m. when it's faded. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, even after, if I don't use mage armor, it'll be a 16, and then I can shield for like a 21. <laughs> The joys of Blade Song. Um, so you guys heading out in the morning? I uh, believe so. Uh, we gather our horses up and take off. Dun, 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 dun. Um, Sorry, Bananas of Music is copyrighted. What? It's bullshit. Plus the last thing I want is um, Hoss coming after me. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> You're recording this. Oh, yeah. I bet, But we're not publishing it for, like, income, so it don't matter. Yeah, and to be fair, yeah, yeah. with the background music, it gets hit anyway, so it makes no difference to me. Eventually, these will all be taken down one by one. <laughs> so, no. um, so you guys head south down the Desarin Road. Um, make some perception checks. First one was Emma. Second one was me. And, and Tito. And Tito. Nice. 
Uh, the Deserian Road leads south through the barren Sumber Hills. Uh, you don't meet any other travelers hey. on your first day. Um, you do see evidence that the trail supports tra traffic. You see some wagon ruts, some horse and donkey droppings. Um, so you can see people coming through here on a regular basis. Um, when you get about uh, most of the way through the day, you're reaching, you've gone about 20 miles south of Belliard. You see a cloud of ravens and vultures circling a mile or so to the west of the trail. Well, that could mean down people. If we're looking for people, that would be a place to look, just in case. There's no harm in investigating. That You guys gonna go check it out? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll put you over here. Actually, if there's an X, I can put. In a small den about a mile off the road, you find the remains of a battle. Um, you see about a dozen dead soldiers lying on the ground, dressed in black surcoats, bearing the emblem of a red axe. Most appears to have died from battle injuries. Uh, some lie in small craters or jumbles of broken rock. Abandoned and looted rag wagons lie nearby. There's a couple of broken trunks sit on the ground by the wagons and there are two big rock cairns nearby a top of a hill uh, um, can I have a quick look around to see if anyone's on the outskirts and Daggio you are native to the north you would recognize the uh, axe symbol it is uh Emblem from Mirabar. Say Mirabar? Mm hmm. What'd you say you were doing, Uvi? Uh, just keep. I want to have a. I'll scan around the outskirts of this scene. Uh, is there anyone hiding around? Uh, I'll make an investigation. Um, Taito will assist. Searching around. Well, I'll, I'll definitely take the assistance. Worse. Wow. Yeah, you're just so focused on the fact that there's uh, a bunch of uh, dead bodies around that you don't really see anything that sticks out. Um, can we check like the bodies, see like how they were killed, like what type of yeah, it Damn looks like uh, they were in some kind of pitched battle. Um, so there's cuts, scratches, bruises. A um, couple of them look a little different where they were uh, in small craters mm -hmm. with, you know, rocks on them. Okay. So it seems like maybe Earth would be in yeah. this area. You did notice too that there was a couple look like uh, rock cairns, like uh, should be like a, a rock uh, coffin, you know, where you see in like movies they put a bunch of rocks over somebody. When yeah. They, yeah, there's uh, two of those nearby a large one and a smaller one. Yes, yeah, so check those out. Okay, uh, which one are you check in first? Um, you said one's bigger, one's little. Mm hmm Little one. Okay. Um, small one, you start moving rocks. Uh, there's a body of a human woman. Any markings, uh, tells me, like, where she's from, what she's doing? Uh, do an investigation. Nice. <laughs> 28. Right, so 
feet. She is in uh, what appears to be a monk's robes. Um, you find uh, hidden underneath her, under some other rocks, a strange golden mask that looks like a like growling, snarling gargoyle face. Um, and you can tell it, it's made of like cheap tin, so it's not mm-hmm. really valuable, but it you do feel it has some type of significance to uh, the person. Okay, so there's some type of monks with golden gargoyle faces. We'll have to check what this is, so I guess we'll take the gargoyle mask. Um, do they look fresh? Have they been here a while? Uh, with your nat 28 investigation, <laughs> you can tell it looks like it's been uh, here probably a, a week or two at the minimum. Wow. Okay. Um, I guess we'll check the other one then. Uh, the other larger one, you start digging and you start to find bodies of a bigger goblinoid type creature. Um, you guys have probably met them before. It looks kind of like uh, bugbears and it looks like there's a few of them buried there. Anything special with them? Uh, they have their armor's just been painted black. It's a uh, leather armor. I mean, it's it's not really usable. And then uh, on the armor, you do notice a small triangle symbol on it. Black with a triangle. Which you guys do recognize. Mm-hmm. So the Earth Cult has bugbears. Because, yeah, you guys are familiar with their symbol. Was there any symbols on the monk? Not that you could see, no. Just the mask that was buried with her. Okay. Um, and it was just the one that had a mask? Yeah, the one human and five bugbears were, they were the only ones buried. The other bodies of the soldiers, uh, about a dozen of those, were just kind of left where they died. Yeah. Next to the wag, there, there was a couple wagons and broken trunks and stuff there. Could I look for some tracks leading off from the battle? Sure, do a survival. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm friendly, mate. I'd like to assist. Uh, you can see, I mean, the, the tracks look to be a week to 10 days old, um, but it looks like a, a, a larger group of maybe 20 to 30 bugbears and humanoids uh, wearing boots headed west into the hills. Well, it seems that a, a group of 20-ish went westward. Well, it looks like we have a choice to either go west or continue our search for the Summit Hall. I would like to continue our um, track, Summit Hall. Hero, do a, just a straight intelligence check. Okay. Um, you get kind of the sense these were probably the people you were looking for. The delegate? Uh, well, it, it, you, at least their wagons and their guards. Do I see any signs of a Shadar Kai? You do not. Well, there is a little bit more of info right there, so we might want to actually go look for them first, because the delegation guides are here. A 
I mean, the prints were both bugbear and humanoid, so it's possible they took prisoners. We can hope. I would like to go after them if that's okay with everyone else. That's fine by me, it's, uh, it's up to the other three. Amnon and Adagio are not here. Don't worry, I'm, I'm not here. talking. What? Oh, I thought you left. Okay. No, I, I never mind about that. <laughs> No, he's here. He's been rolling. So, Adagio, what do you think? Not really sure. What are you not so, sure of? Well, quick question. Where are you again? Like, we're right now. Like, where are we standing right now, I meant. <laughs> no, um, where that X is on the map. It oh. looks like a graveyard at the moment, and we have tracks leading off to the west. Yeah, there was a some type of battle there. There's dead soldiers, and there were some bugbears and a monk buried nearby. How about you, I'm not. Oh, I'm not. It's not here, so he's. <laughs> We're asking the DM to play I'm not what he would like. So there was no sign of any shadow tie. In this mix. Correct. Um, and goes, well, which way is going to have more animals? Hello? Yeah, yep, we can hear you. you. Okay. <laughs> uh, for like a whole like two minutes, you guys were just totally silent, and I was like, am I disconnected? <laughs> oh, okay. um, and that tried saying something going it's fine, whatever. Uh, Yep, so we feel like the delegation has been ambushed here and they might have taken prisoners. We should probably go after them is my thought, but it would be up to everyone else what they think. I mean, yeah, we... we must help. I've been looking for someone that apparently has been traveling with the delegation. They are not here. Then let's go west. You guys want to go west? Yep. Follow the track. Yes. What's our distance we've been doing? I think we're, we were at the end of our day. Uh, yeah, it's getting really late because you guys got there right before you were getting ready to camp and when you saw it. And so now it's past bedtime. Doing all your investigations. So you guys can ride overnight or you can camp for the night. It's up to you. We can probably push a little bit farther in the darkness and then see if we can find them a little bit farther off the road. Now you can tell the tracks are about a week old, so... I'll be casting light so I can see the tracks, but yeah, I'll, I'll follow the tracks. Before we leave, uh, I would like to search for something in the rubble. Okay. A stone like I have. Oh. Interesting. Um, I want to help. Doing an investigation looking for a similar stone. Guidance. <laughs> Is that what that was, Bob? What? 
So I was yawning Gu guidance. Guidance, oh. search all D4. You, you search through all the uh, rocks that are nearby and looking for ones that are smaller or similar that um, might be of the same type that you use, and you don't find any. Idea. Can anyone detect magic? Yes. Do you mind trying to see if you can find a magical stone? Give me ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you ritually cast detect magic and start walking around with your 30 feet aura. Yeah. And, uh, Nothing actually uh, shows up outside of the uh, couple items that are on your companions. Did that mask show up? It does not. Um, sorry, darn, I'm not picking up the same magic as I got from your stone. Alright. Well, there's still a chance he's alive. Okay, um, so you guys are going to start, um, traveling overnight, um, you're going to risk, uh, or start to get a level of exhaustion, too. I mean, at that point, we start to make camp, or rest, at least. I yeah, I just want to get farther away from the grave site. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you just want to go a couple miles following the track to get away from it and then rest, you can do that. Yeah. And then you guys can uh, camp for the night. Oh, they've really gone shit at the end of the session. You bet. <laughs> All my rolls have been going really low after the three hour mark. Yeah. Um, you guys get your, your rest okay. Um, nothing happens overnight. Uh -oh. right, so then I guess we'll pick up the tracks. Yep, um, you guys already had a good beat on it to head west. Oh, heading west, take you uh, most of the day because um, you're trying to keep up with the tracks and not lose it. Um, you do get over to the river uh, following it. And go. Um, as you get up to the river, um, you can see where the trail leads. All the way up to the river and then there's some gouges in the riverbank to show where some uh, boats were pushed off does it look like there's any gouges on the other side of the river where they may have landed uh not that you can see no is the river flowing heavily a certain way? Uh, it does flow to the south. <coughs> Anyone have a boat or a way to uh, swim? I mean, I can swim, but it seems that they may have just gone south along the river. Yep, and I guess we follow the river. Through the woods. Into the woods. No, follow the river, not not over the river. The question the is: it going, or doing, going upstream or downstream though? Uh, you south. south. So you guys would be going south. with the stream. 
All right, so downstream. All right. Yeah, and I'll keep my eyes out for any tracks or any signs mm. of landfall. Mm. What's our distance? So that would have been... Trying to measure days. First day. Okay. Um, as you get a full day down there, um, you haven't seen anything yet. Um, and you guys rest again. <coughs> so you can start fresh in the morning. And then you guys keep proceeding um which side of the river are you guys staying on the same side or you guys attempt to cross we we'll probably stay on the same side okay i mean if we don't find anything we can always cross over then go back up mm -hmm. yeah um And as you guys are going down, a um, couple hours into the next day, um, you guys keep it an eye on both sides of the river. You do see on the opposite side of the river, it looks like there's some type of temple on the other side of the river. It's a... Uh, a few hundred yards away from the river, but it's large enough that you guys are able to see it. It's uh, surrounded by rock and stone. It's a uh, massive building. Well, the issue would be getting your cost now. Amnon chimes in and goes, well, the river's not too fast and the horses are decent uh, swimming. You should be able to cross. I mean, do you want to try? Is everyone ready to go? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, let's cross the river. Okay, um, you guys cross the river. I'm not going to have you roll. And you guys head towards the uh, temple place? Yep. Um, you arrive at the large temple um it could be uh from the distance a good 15 to 20 feet high looks like a massive uh one to two story building it's hard to tell it's all stone and rock um you don't see anybody on the outside um you do see some stairs leading up to a couple of doors in the front you said we don't see anyone outside? Um, make a perception check. Does anyone else get them? Okay. Uh, um, Sorry, I was just doing something. Never mind. God, she was too busy trying to keep away from Amnon. Amnon, stop trying to talk to me. <laughs> um, you, you see at the distance, you see somebody uh, dressed in robes and then a another person who's dressed all in black with a massive maul 
and long white hair walk in and close the door behind them. How far away? Uh, you guys are a good hundred yards away. Well, it seems they know we're here. But that is where we are going to end it.